For people with existing satellite internet or even really DSL in remote areas, online gaming simply wasn't possible. The latency issues with satellite internet, upwards of 600 to 700 milliseconds, made it impossible to play really any online games. And DSL also has a tendency of having spikes in latency as well as dropouts. So SpaceX Starlink enters the picture, and we're going to put it to the test with some Call of Duty here. But we're going to try and see if we can do a long-term gaming session here. We'll do maybe about two hours to kind of see how well it plays out, and we're just going to really see the experience with Starlink. Uh, with this, we're going to be tracking uh, server latency packet loss um, with the built-in services of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And I'm already seeing that my latency is upper 30s right now, lower 40s. With Mediacom, my existing internet service provider, my server latency would be somewhere between about 55 and 65 milliseconds. So I'm actually better than my existing internet, which is just wild. All right, let's see how well it goes. It does feel snappy, I will say. And one thing I, I, I have noticed a little bit when kind of playing uh, periodically is that um, it can be a little bit more variable. Oh, how did I miss that shot? What? Um, the latency can be a little variable. So now you see I'm back in the mid-70s, which is still totally playable, mind you. Um, but it's not quite uh, the 40s I was. I think a lot of that has to do with connecting to different server or satellites. Uh, if it's hopping satellite to satellite, I think that's when you see a little bit of a spike. Uh, but no packet loss. We've not lost any data. Uh, we've just had slightly higher pings. Look at this guy's footstep. Boom! Ah, I'm terrible. The mid 40 millisecond range. We're back to better than my existing internet. I don't think the guy was playing. I should not feel good about that kill. Look at that. Back in the low 40s to upper 30s. That is incredible. That is such a step up for my existing internet. And this is satellite. I mean, the crazy thing is that we're talking about satellite where the my connection is going several hundred miles up, about 340 miles up, and then back down. I mean, like, in order to accomplish that with satellite, it's such... It's just such a technological feat. It really is. Oh, see, now the pink's back up again. We're up to upper 70 to near 80 millisecond ping. That's the highest I've seen so far. But then we're right back down to mid-40s. So I really do think I was like in a transitioning satellite phase there. Or it might have been hopping from one to the other. But then, I mean, latency is right down to mid-40s. So it seems a little bit more variable. Uh, it seems like it has a little bit more up and down um, than, can, you know, traditional internet. But, I mean, compared to my existing internet, it's better. Which is still just wild to me. So I'm a little bit higher this round. I'm wondering if the server might be like further away, like a West Coast server or something. Still like playable. It's not like unplayable, uh, but the ping is a little higher. Mid upper. Oh, so now we're in the low 80s, mid 80s. That's a higher ping there. So I'm wondering if we're in a transitioning a satellite phase again. Mid 80s is when you start getting a bit more concerned about it being a little more unplayable. We're talking about a tenth of a second is kind of a long period of time. Freaking hit markers. God. And then we're back down to low mid-60s. So yeah, it did seem like we were kind of in that transitional phase. So I think that's kind of what's happening. Is you're going from one satellite to another satellite. And that's, I think, when the ping kind of spikes. Oh, boy. So again, no pack of loss that game. Um, consistent, probably like mid, I don't know, mid 60 ping. It was a little bit higher that game, but no pack. Oh, we just had some pack of loss there, 3%. It went up a little bit. So in this server we're getting, ooh, that was a big spike. See that really big spike there? But it went right back down. Ooh, we're going way back again. Oh, 300 millisecond. Uh. 
Oof. Hey, we're back down before the game started. Team Deathmatch. <laughs> The fate of the that was a big satellite hands. hop there. It's alright. Everything's fine. We're back in the upper 50s here. Alright. So a big spike there, but hey, look at that. Now we're back in the low, low to mid 40s. What the hell was that? Low 40s, upper 30s. Hostiles oh my god. So I'd say mid 40s, upper 40s. Pretty consistent for this game. We had that huge spike at the very beginning. Mid 40s, though. Oh, I had a big pack of loss there. Go right back. Getting some packet loss. Hostile care package inbound. This point not too bad though. Other than that, there's a there's a bit of a, a dip there. Forty-five, and I'm almost a hundred. You tell me this can do an XP glitch. I play the game. No big. We buffered out, but we're still in the upper seventy. Ooh, nineties, upper seventies, near me. Oh boy, we're getting so wild the fluctuations here. Take the objectives. Hard point identified. Hard point locked down. Let's get a little streak. Hard Ooh, we're back in the 150, 200. Ooh, that's, I felt that. That was, that was rough. Okay, looks like it buffered out a little bit back in the 70s. That was rough. That was, that was a rough stretch there. But we haven't lost connection. Hard point identified. Which is kind of impressive. Hard point. And what's surprising is even though I'm dealing with this extreme lag, I'm still 18 and 5. Uh, even with the latency as high as it was, that was a pretty high latency. I'm still at 105. The latency is pretty high for much of that game, but I will say I don't think it impacted me quite that much. I feel like it could have been a lot worse. Um, it wasn't like unplayable. Um, it definitely sucked sometimes. Uh, but again, we are trying to play with uh, SpaceX Starlink, uh, streaming and gaming. So we're doing both, twofold. And uh, you can see my latency on the top left. That'd be a little hard if you're on a smaller screen, but it's mid 40s right now, which again is actually pretty darn good. Again, this is satellite internet, so keep that in mind. Whoop! Uh, but yeah, you can see right now my server latency is back up to mid six, mid 60s, low 60s. Ah! Uh, so the one thing I will say about Starlink is that it's a little bit more. Um, 
variable. It kind of goes up and down, up and down a little bit. It's not as consistent as like a traditional internet service. Ah. Uh, so there is a little bit more variability uh, with Starlink, the the latency. But at least as far as I can tell, uh, it looks fine uh, going. Oh boy, uh, going out to you all. Uh, this should be 1080p 60. Again, my latency in the server right now is like upper 40 millisecond ping. Oh, we have a visitor. Hi there, Stormy. Everybody. It's his story, Storm Chasing Corgi. Hello, buddy. How are we doing? Having a good time? Want to play some Call of Duty with me? <laughs> no? Alright. Oh! We're good. Oh, I was about to be my quad. Who took the guy out of the escalator? God. <laughs> I did it. I did it on purpose, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been uh, that would have been a, my best highlight reel I think I've ever done in my life. Enemy spy plane inbound. Wow, how do you feel about that now, Kevin? Uh, it makes me even happier. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone? Spy plane standing by. That's a quad feed or a five feed. Yeah, baby. I suck. Really bad at this game. So I'm just sad. missing everybody. I'm not even getting hit markers. I can't blame the gun. Oh, I'm getting some high latency, boys. We got big problems. That satellite. Oh, no. Uh, it makes me laugh every time. <laughs> They've got to be so mad after that, right? Like, enemy sentry turret detected yeah. in your AO. What is? What are these guys doing? Are these bots? So, with all that said, bottom line time. The internet works surprisingly well. Latency works better than I would have expected. Uh, so in terms of gaming on Starlink, I've not had any issues. In fact, now playing for four days, I have not been kicked out of a game. And if you've played Call of Duty before, you kind of know that Call of Duty, if you lose internet connection, you have to quit the game on PC to log back in. Very annoying process. I never had to do that. I did have a few periods of high ping going over 100 milliseconds, upwards of 200 to 300 milliseconds, but usually for just a very short period of time uh, when the satellites are hopping from one to another. My Starlink dish is going from one to another. So in terms of consistent ping, I ran a 36-hour latency test using my Starlink internet, and you'll notice the mean, the average internet latency 38 milliseconds the median the middle point of all those data points was 33 milliseconds the mode the most common number 29 milliseconds that's a really really impressive statistic there especially considering it's satellite internet the maximum 338 milliseconds and you'll see that early on when i first set this test up and then went to sleep there was clearly some issues happening here with Starlink. And so I think um, as Starlink becomes more mature and they continue to launch these satellites, that period of kind of volatile latency, that's probably going to become non-existent when you can fill those voids uh, when you're one satellite leaving and you're waiting for another one to come in. I was actually able to watch that in real time when one satellite would come in it would leave, and then there would be a period before another satellite could come in to fill the void. Really fascinating stuff. Oh, okay, there we go. We got internet back. There it is. Okay. Took some time, but we latched on to 2AF, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, hope you found this video interesting. Yes, you can totally game on Starlink. And not only can you, it's actually an enjoyable experience. Thanks for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe for more Starlink content coming your way, including an installation of my Starlink dish. Not on a folding table anymore, but on a proper roof. And, of course, we're going to be doing that. Uh, we're also going to be doing a lot of tests with Starlink in different weather conditions, data logging, a lot of information. Very excited to see that. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you again in the next video.